This is Twit. I got my start in 360 30 days, um, 370. Lo love mainframes, been there, miss them a lot. But <clears throat> one of the questions I know our viewers are definitely going to want to ask me to ask is, do you have a way to compare the Z series mainframe, may you know, maybe the ZR1 to say a cluster of VMware machines? You know, how do we compare apples to apples when we go to talk to our managers to say, hey, I think it might be time for us to go and talk to IBM and maybe a mainframe makes more sense. Let's have some ammunition to help them out on that. Yeah, well, I think it's, you know, goes back to some of the uh, scale characteristics, right? Uh, uh, certainly, when you look at the encryption capability, it there is nothing that can compare to this because it's an EAL 5 plus machine that uh, provides security at all levels of the system, all the way from the top of the stack into the chip itself. And of course, it's the, the uh, engineering of the chip that is allowing us to do these 12 billion encrypted transactions with no change to the application set. And we're doing it through the encrypted layer, through a secure container implementation we've done on top of Linux to protect the application if we're running in a container environment. Uh, and we're doing that with data at rest, data in motion. Uh, the engineering of the machine, including the cryptology module itself, which is in, you cannot penetrate this mod module where the keys are stored. If you try to drill something into that module that's even one-tenth the side of a so uh, size of a sewing needle, it shuts itself down and destroys all the keys. So there is nothing like this in the world from, an, from a security perspective. And then you combine it with the scale of being able to support 2 million uh, Docker containers, a 32 terabyte in-memory database, uh, the size and scale of what you can do. And then if something happens, you've got the ability to just chief HA between the LPAR configurations within this machine. And so you don't have to create this very sophisticated, scaled out cloud environment uh, to do that. You know, it's just a resonant part of the capability that's there. And I, I think this is very powerful for a lot of companies that we see using uh, these new uh, workloads and, and you know, particularly on, in, in the case of the Linux environment. Oh, super cool. Hey, you know what? Uh, we have a video of one of these units being made. Why don't we we'll show that and then okay. let's go let Bam get his uh, licks in. Yeah. So what I'd like to talk about as we watch this uh, massively powerful machine get installed on the data center floor is I'm a real, you know, fanboy of machine learning and artificial intelligence as those who've uh, uh, watched me on Twilight in the past would know. And I obviously nobody knows more about artificial intelligence than IBM uh, with Watson and the way that's being deployed. And, and what some folks may not know about IBM is the really amazing work they're doing with the X-Force project, uh, which is the, uh, the really the security s center of, of what's going on at IBM as far as IT and enterprise level security. Um, Jamie, could you tell us a little bit about how you know, mainframe technology is helping drive you know, security projects like X-Force and, and injecting AI in a, in a really meaningful way in, into security? Well, that, that, that's a good question. Of course, our X-Force team are the foremost uh, uh, hackers inside IBM, if you will. They're our expert hackers that really can help us understand what's going on out in the world of security and what's driving a lot of the incidents that you talked about around the world. Uh, what we've done on the mainframe is as it operates, if you will, it also gathers intelligence and data that's inter integrated into our security uh, event management system based on our Q radar offering. So it becomes a critical data provider, if you will, or uh, for the intelligence that Q radar can then interpret in, ter in terms of security event management on an ongoing basis. Um, and uh, clearly we remain, you know, focused on uh, all of the different uh, things that are happening out there in the environment, including, you know, things like uh, supply chain security, et cetera, and what we need to do around uh, the, these kinds of environments to uh, better serve our clients. Mm 